Hello and welcome to the People Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of November 28th, 2020. Well, today, Fox Business had a Republican congressman on talking about stimulus. His name was French Hill. And instead of me boring you with what he said, how about I just let him tell you? I'll let him show you what he said. How's that? Here's a clip. I'll be back. A big question for everyone is this COVID-19 relief uh, package. Do you think we're going to get any, any aid in the next month to two months before the inauguration? Well, Cheryl, we do need to have more COVID, <clears throat> excuse me, COVID-19 aid in the form of extending the Paycheck Protection Program, that $138 billion that we have to help our small businesses, our hoteliers. Our governors want to be able to spend that CARES Act money that they got with more flexibility, and it stops at 1231. So we need that changed here before the end of the year. And finally, we need to help our families that are on unemployment have certainty about the level of unemployment compensation that they're eligible for. So those three things, I believe, need to be done during this lame duck session of Congress before Congress adjourns and long before uh, the inauguration. So not to split hairs with you, but do you think we're going to get some kind of a la carte movement out of Washington? Or do you think that we could possibly see an all encompassing uh, bill? Obviously, the balance of power is still in the balance because we're waiting on the Georgia story. Um, you know, how do you foresee this actually playing out specifically? Well, I do think uh, there's not appetite to attach COVID-19 relief to the December 11th deadline Congress has for 2021 funding. So I think we're going to have to pass a separate COVID-19 bill. As you know, we're far apart between Speaker Pelosi still demanding two and a half trillion dollars and Senate Republicans uh, in the $600 billion range. That's why in the House, we've tried to move 40 times the extension of the Paycheck Protection Program, as you say, on an a la carte basis. And uh, the master of the cafeteria there in the House, Speaker Pelosi, has shut that down. So I still think we need to put together a common sense set of package and get it passed before the end of the year. No, I think many small business owners and Americans that are sitting home without jobs right now would agree that we can't wait until January 20th. It's just, it's just not an option. Agreed. And as we are all waiting for Congress to pass a second stimulus package and stimulus check to help out those people out there that are suffering, starving, and about to go homeless, um, they are still on vacation until Monday. And basically, Congressman Doyle says that Congress should not be able to go back on vacation until they pass a stimulus package. I happen to agree with him on that one. I don't think they should have gone on vacation to go until they passed a stimulus package in the first place. They should have still been at work this whole week. I don't give. I don't care if it's Thanksgiving or not. For us, it is. For them that are actually rich and can actually afford to uh, not worry about us, they need to be working. Because us little people are star starving, suffering, and they said they were about to go homeless. December 31st is the deadline of when all the CARES Act money expires. It's also a deadline of when basically the CDC ban for evictions also expires. And so basically December 31st, as I reported in an early episode, will be the perfect storm because a lot of shit's going to go down unless Congress gets their asses in gear and actually passes a stimulus package to help all the people out so we don't decide to go poop on their lawns. As you remember, I also reported about that in an early episode too about how someone defecated on Nancy Pelosi's uh, property as well. And he got arrested and they said, oh, he was just joking about it. But you know what? I don't think he was joking. I think he was serious. And you know what? i go poop on Mitch McConnell's property if I could. But he's not worth my time. And I will also cover the executive orders that Biden can pass that will help Americans when he gets put in office on January 20th. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo says that they're gonna that they're gonna need a stimulus package and stimulus check to be passed before they can even decide to distribute the vaccine to their people, because New York is broke. Now, isn't that a surprise? One one of the capital hubs of the United States, New York, is broke. 
President Trump says that he will be helping other Republicans in the Georgia State Senate races. And that is basically probably not a good idea because if the Republicans get retaining control of the Senate, nothing's going to get done. They're going to pass a government spending bill and then they're going to go back to squabbling between Democrats and Republicans and none of us going to get help because, you know, the Republicans don't care about us. They only care about the bottom dollar. That's why they, you always hear them talking about the GDP, which is the gross domestic product. I've checked the numbers on that, and they said in the third quarter is dropped. So I don't know where Mitch McConnell was getting his numbers, but that's besides the point. Um, I will also uh, let you know about um, what Moderna and Pfizer says about the side effects to their vaccines are. And on Friday, we hit a record high of people hospitalized from COVID-19. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of them, like 9,000. It is not just the people that need a, a stimulus package and six seconds in this check. It's also the states as well. Biden says that if there isn't a stimulus package passed by the time he takes office, that he will actually do executive orders to get some stuff done. Biden wants to use his executive orders to basically renew the pandem pandemic unemployment assurance. That was give people more uh, unemployment. Um, extend eviction protections. Add $200 monthly to Social Security uh, beneficiaries. They extend the student loan deferral and test free. So that's good for student loans. And cancel the a minimum of $10,000 of student loan debt per person. But there is a problem. Unfortunately, the funds for these executive orders are actually running quite low since Stephen Mnuchin actually took the $455 billion back from the Federal Reserve Bank and stuck it in the general account of the Treasury, only allowing Congress, the combined Congress of the House and Senate, to be able to use that money. Otherwise, no one can touch that money. So, thank you, Stephen Mnuchin, for screwing the American people over even more since you're a Republican. Okay, President Trump says that he will leave the White House on January 22nd if and only if the Electoral College confirms that Joe Biden is the winner. That is the only way he'll leave. And let's see here. The side effects of the vaccines, according to Moderna and Pfizer, are severe headaches, high fevers, chills, exhaustion, body aches, muscle aches, and other symptoms. That doesn't really help out when I say other symptoms, now, is it? <laughs> and as far as the, the um, COVID breakdown is, we reported 205,460 new cases on Friday with 1,412 new, fat new fatalities as well as in Friday. And uh, I, that actually is my stimulus package report for you guys. And... Like I said, as soon as I get more information coming forward to me to give you guys that will actually hopefully help you out, I would be more than happy to give that to you because, you because you guys are basically what makes my channel. And I appreciate that a lot. So until next time, you guys have a wonderful evening. Please stay safe out there. And remember, we're in this together. It's basically all we got is each other because our Congress don't care. Until next time, wonderful evening. Thank you.